Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, click on the subscribe button, turn on notifications, give some ads videos a huge thumbs up. What are we doing today, guys? We're going to change a cabin air filter in, in mommy's car here. And so, the tools you need is a furniture pliers and a Phillips head screwdriver. First step is take that little owner's manual stuff out of the glove box. Because if you're anything like my, my wife, my mommy, or Savannah's mommy, she keeps everything in the glove box like that. So, first step is take your needle nose or take your pliers, squeeze this thing together, and pull this little arm off. You get a clip here, same clip on the other side. All you have to do is flip it backwards, flip it down. Cabin air filter is right back here, right in here. So we're gonna remove these two screws. So screw number one. And then there's one screw here. So I'm gonna set the phone out. I'm gonna unscrew these. I'm sorry guys, it was just really hard to get that those out one-handed. And then what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a little clip here. You're gonna put a little pressure on it. Oops, this clip came off first. Over here, this one. I'm gonna try and get this clip off now. Oops. Hold on. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. I heard it click now. And we we typically bring this to a dealership, and they must have. This thing and they check it every time whenever they change oil so i'm guessing that this is just one of those things that breaks when you go back and forth all the time and so this is the cabin air filter Eww, gross looking isn't it so it just cleans up the cabin the car pretty much it does the air in the kit for the cabin as you see, new cap, new cabin air filter. Trying to see which way it says airflow. And I'm going to guess the writing is supposed to go up so you can read it. I don't see a direction on this one. But so I'm going to guess that the writing is going to go up, so it's going to go like this way. So let's go back in there. We're going to put, get the clip back on there. And there's an, supposed to be another clip here, which I'm guessing, like you said, the dealership pulls it off every time. So my guess is. There's a clip here that appears to be broken along with this one. So my guess is when the dealership drives, keep, keep pulling off, they probably broke that little thing too. But it appears that it would be something that breaks off very easily. So I'm going to get these screws on and I'm going to need two hands for that, guys. Screws back in, as you see. Next is fairly easy thing to do. That is... This the club back. Oh, guess what? It's already latched up. And then this little knobby thing here, as you can see, this clicks back on there. Last but not least, things to do. Like I said, everything that my wife's car had in it has, in, is in the glove box, so put that back in. And last but not least is this goes in the trash. And we put our tools away. 
thank you for watching guys hope this was helpful if you guys have any tips for me anything you want me to try and find on this car i will try and help you thanks bye